So, ladies, I have a question. It's a genuine question. I want real answers. So when it comes to dating, first dates, first few dates, please tell me what is wrong with a coffee date or a walk in the park. Now, I've done coffee dates and it's chill, it's nice, it's a vibe, it's quiet. You can talk and get to know the person. I don't really see anything wrong with it, but. You know what, I already like her. I already like her. What's wrong with a coffee date when the goal of a date is to get to know me and to not know my resources? And the thing is, she's asking the woman what the problem is. I know what the problem is. The problem is when a woman wouldn't agree to go with you, you know what I'm saying, on a coffee date or to get a smoothie or get ice cream, the problem is that she just doesn't like you like that. That's the real issue. And also too, it's being low key delusional because what you gotta understand is a man doesn't wanna waste his resources to get to know you. What's wrong with not having to spend a lot of money to get to know somebody? because people seem to forget what the purpose of dating is. It's like, oh, so I gotta go spend $300 to never see you again? I'm good, deuces. And you know, I'm glad I'm showing y'all a woman saying this because what you gotta understand is that's a woman that I could rock with. You know what I'm saying? I can rock with her because that type of mindset, she understands that, look, if I go out to this coffee date with this man, and I just enjoy that and we get to know each other, if we like each other, then later on down the road, we can go do that expensive thing. You know what I'm saying? She gets it, she understands it. This is how, see, this is how you weed women out. When women are not down to go get an ice cream or go get a smoothie or go for a walk in the park or even to go work out with you in the gym, when she ain't down for that, man, she's not down for other it. Other women make me believe that I wasn't asking for enough or I was letting that man know that they can get me easily or Talking I'm showing them that. And like I said, I don't usually try to like bash women on this channel, but I hate when women bring that point up of, oh, I don't want to be too easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does that mean? Because at the end of the day, a feminine woman wants a leader. She wants a man to be a man at the end of the day. So you playing easy to get. So what you trying to say, like you ain't got to work for me? You saying just, oh, because you look good and you got something fat back there, you feel like that I should just give you all this attention for free. My bad, I'm not giving it to you for free because I'm really paying for it, but y'all get the point. That I don't have a high value, just all types of crazy stuff. So I, it's a genuine question for those women that don't believe in coffee dates or walks in a park or a, a cheap date. I don't wanna say cheap, but something less expensive and where we're just getting to know each other, what's wrong with that? See, I think I would have more respect for women if they would just let me know that you don't, just let me know that you don't like me instead of wasting my time and telling me you're not interested of going into the park, you're not interested of going to have a coffee. Just let me know up top that you're not interested instead of wasting my time and I'm spending all this money on the date and you don't even like me. See, that's the thing us men have an issue with. And, and the learning lesson I want men to take from this is, that's why you don't go on dinner dates on the first date. So that simple fact, if she liked you, she would be willing to go get a smoothie with you. Yo, if somebody goes to get a smoothie with you, they really like it. Because it, it, it's more about, you know, getting to know each other. Like she said, there's no loud music. There's no, you know, people everywhere. It's just y'all two and y'all thoughts and y'all's a conversation. So if somebody's not willing to do that, they're not really interested in you nine times out of 10. So I was talking to my homie the other day and he was like telling me about how like this, um, he met a woman on a dating app. He kind of presented to her, you know, they, they talked or whatever. And he presented to her like, hey, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's go get a smoothie type of thing. And then maybe after that we can kick it or whatever. And she was like, basically she responded like, I don't do those type of dates and you gotta take me here. And you think I'm easy and all this type of stuff. And it's like, Weed out. Thing is, like, my homie knew instantly, oh, then you're not for me. Because what that woman is saying to you is, you have to spend money to get to know me. And guess what? After I get to know you, I'm never gonna see you again. 
because if you was interested in me, if she was really interested in my homie, she would have went to go get that smoothie. But oh, guess what? You're not really interested in me. You just want to see what you can get up out of me. And that's why I say for men, the learning lesson with all of this is, you know what I'm saying? Don't accept a date you don't want to do. Now, if you want to go to go spend that type of money on the first date, I'm not saying that you can't do that, but what I'm saying is it's not smart. It's very smart when you go on a coffee date or go get a smoothie. You know why? Because if the woman agrees to it, you know she's at least initially interested. You know that for a fact. There's no debating it. But if you go on a dinner date or something like that where you gotta spend a lot of money, you don't know how if she's interested in you or what you can provide. You can weed out all of that by simply just going on a coffee date, walk in the park, a smoothie, because at the end of the day, the definition of a date is to get to know someone, not to get to know my pockets. You know what I'm saying? You're not about to get to know my pockets. All right, guys, that's my video for today. I appreciate you guys for coming over as always. Guys, make sure you continue to go cop my new ebook. Link is in the description. Also, too, if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, that link is also in the description. And also, too, guys, make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'm gone.